last update I had in this was in March, guys, of 2014. And now I'm updating again in 2015. Matt LeCamp, Road to Greatness. If you were a fan before, I'm not sure how you could be. My commentating was awful. Super, oh, what was, what's the word? Just really low-key and, and just chill. I, but kind of almost sound more apathetic. And I don't think many people could hear. I just went through all the videos and I was like, man, let's just put it all on mute now. Um, so, you know, to kind of spare me the return here. Hopefully it's gotten a lot better. I think it has. I've gotten a little bit more experience, as you can tell. Um, or just kind of know what I'm talking about, I guess, a little bit more. But I wanted to do that because NCAA 14 is so awesome. And we got great sliders on the Operation Sports Community Sliders that I co-authored with Josh, Josh C. And, and everybody else over there. So looking forward to getting some, some game time in. And so is Matt LeCamp, who is starting safety now for the Colorado Buffaloes. And he's not showing it there when he just over-pursued the angle. But no worries, there's a flag on the play. Everybody just relax. Thankfully, we got a clipping call there. On second and 11, against Colorado State here, the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Matt Camp looking for his first tackle of the season, doesn't get it. Well defended, or not well defended, well, well blocked there by the running back. First and 10 again. Gets his first tackle there, there you go, against Crockett Gilmore. Good positioning by LeCamp. The junior safety now. And there's Bibbs, the running back, catching in. LeCamp gets another tackle. So he's making his presence known. He's known as a hard hitter now. And you can see a little bit of that, but I would personally like a little bit more coverage like this where Henderson makes a great play. I want Matt LeCamp to start being that kind of player. Just being around, you know, around the ball and making plays on it. Not necessarily just tackling, but you know what? You got to... Got to give him credit for starting here in the Pac-12 for a good team in Colorado. Well, a decent team. Uh, new head coach, uh, Mike McIntyre, is taking over. and um, You know, you'll see in this game and see the scoreline as it goes through. And here he kind of finishes up the tackle there. And it's just a tackle, it looks like. I don't think he got credit for that. But, he, you know, McIntyre kind of took over. Here's the camp real quick. Just great pursuit there. Making some good plays. And, you know, it's definitely tough it was this was a tough game because I had it on five pass accuracy QBA on the sliders and hoping that um, you know oh, there was a t another terrible uh, pursuit but hoping that you know the the running back or that the quarterback could make something happen but really couldn't complete a pass and here LeCamp bites on the play doesn't you know he's in position but he doesn't make a play on it so that's what I want to see more of I want to see him make plays there and so that's something that's really important to me on the pass coverage. So anyway, as I was saying, though, Colorado is not the best offensively. And with the, the freshman quarterback starting, it's going to be even tougher. And here's a pretty controversial decision. Or not decision, but it will be a decision made by the referees here. They're saying he was down by contact. Or not down by contact. Wow, I can't talk. His knee was down. And it was... Uh, play was reversed so no fumble on the play and of course that's going to result in a big play here by LeCamp on second and one against the Rams and then another play he could make here but Grayson on the read option and gets past everybody including LeCamp Garrett Grayson had a big day in this one but you can see LeCamp kind of comes in the picture here just a little late and by then it's already too and I apologize right here, guys, but we lost the third quarter completely. Like the footage and everything just really bogged down. But Grayson here beat out LeCamp. LeCamp took a terrible angle in the fourth quarter. It was pretty important, that play. And unfortunately, that's just kind of how it would end. Here, I was controlling the wrong guy, and LeCamp actually got the tackle. So go figure. But that was the end of the game. Kind of a loss already to the start of the season. Not a great way to start for LeCamp. The new coach McIntyre and and especially the freshman quarterback who really struggled I think I don't remember the stats as of this moment but he was in bad shape um, I might have to bump that slider for the QBA accuracy for him maybe to help him out a little bit in the future so we'll see either way LeCamp got some good stats though seven solo tackles not a bad start to the season even if it was at a loss but a losing to the Rams your rivals like that never a good start and, you know, 
I'm going to get the next episode out shortly because I do feel bad for missing that entire third quarter, guys. The next game's an FCS team, so I'm going to skip that one and jump into the next one, and I'll have that up for you guys here in the next couple days. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Take care, and stay tuned.